On April 16th, Attorney General William Barr issued a decision in matter of MS, ruling that asylum seekers who entered between ports of entry and established a credible fear of persecution are no longer eligible for release on bond before an immigration judge. The decision sweeps aside long-standing Board of Immigration Appeals precedent, which the immigration courts and DHS have been implementing for nearly 14 years. The AG delayed implementation of his decision for 90 days to give DHS time to plan for additional detention space. If this decision is implemented, thousands of people will be unnecessarily detained, dealing a devastating blow to those seeking protection from persecution who will have a much harder time proving their claims for asylum while detained. Already, the American Immigration Council, ACLU, and Northwest Immigrant Rights Project have announced plans to challenge matter of MS. Just weeks ago, those organizations obtained a favorable ruling from a federal district court, which ordered the government to provide prompt bond hearings to the same category of individuals at issue in matter of MS. Yet the attorney general went ahead and issued matter of MS. The federal court case is Padilla versus ICE. With matter of MS, the administration is now attempting to expand mandatory detention, but the government has a choice not to detain these asylum seekers. The government should review each case individually and release those asylum seekers who pose no flight risk or threat to public safety. In matter of MS, the Attorney General also cited the Supreme Court's decision in Jennings versus Rodriguez as supporting his interpretation. But in Jennings, the Supreme Court did not address at all the availability of immigration court custody redetermination hearings for the class of asylum seekers at issue in matter of MS. The Supreme Court never mentioned or called into question the BIA's decision that the AG has now overturned in matter of MS. Not only does matter of MS impact the detention of asylum seekers, but the AG is taking another step to strip judges of their most elemental operational authorities, and as a result, is making it more difficult for courts to manage their dockets and reduce the case backlog, which exceeds 800,000 cases. Asylum seekers arriving at the southern border can be processed in an orderly way, while also being provided with thorough and fair review of their asylum cases. Instead of putting resources into improved processing, the administration is looking to squander more resources to detain them when it's just not justified or necessary. To improve case processing, the courts must be allowed to operate as courts, not puppets of the Attorney General. That's why AILA is urging Congress to create an Article I independent immigration court system separate from DOJ. The administration is using detention here as a sword against due process and the humanitarian principles upon which our nation was founded. AILA will fight back using all the tools at our disposal, including the co-equal branches of Congress and the courts.